One of the top things I've learned as a bridal makeup artist is that the less volume of product you can put on the skin, the more skin-like and flattering it looks and the better the makeup holds up throughout the day. Saint claims basically those two things and many more. Welcome, my name is Kaylee, thank you for watching. So the way Saint makeup works is you can get color matched through a rep or buy a kit online or your individual colors. They come in little tins with lids. You take them out, put them in a little magnetic compact. Now, the whole concept behind Saint is not revolutionary. Professional makeup artists oftentimes use this technique, especially those who are working on film, magazine, fashion, HDTV. They know that the less makeup you can put on somebody's skin, the better it generally looks on film and camera and under those heavy HD lights. So with that being said, a lot of times they will just take their foundations and they will custom mix up, you know, their different shades and they'll apply them onto bare skin in one layer, essentially. And they're building up those shadows, those contours, those highlights from the beginning on bare skin. So the way my rep built my palette essentially for me is she did my under eye brightening concealer shade and then my T-zone and jawline shade, contour slash bronzer shade, and my blush and lip shade. Typically people might replace one of these highlight shades with a highlight <laughs> that we say outside of the Saint world, they call it an illuminator. They also have their own brushes. They're all dual sided. Anyways, the way you're supposed to use it, go in right here to your all over foundation shade. <sighs> He uses for contour. I usually use my It Cosmetics brush. The artists will oftentimes use, that I've seen, they will use the same brush for both and they don't mind mixing the colors. So we're going to apply this all over foundation shade only in the areas that we want to be a little bit brighter. Nothing is on the skin. And I'm just applying it right here along the jawline, as you see, and down the center of my face. Now I'm gonna stop right here. These compacts get so dirty. As you can see, I mean, I have the product all down here. And then also when I go in with the brushes, oftentimes I will accidentally get into the other shades. So while I can pinch my brushes and make it work, it's a little bit messy, it's a little bit sloppy. That's my preferred method. However, most people will tell you to take your product on your fingers, and I feel like this is the viral, kind of clickbaity method right here. Let's do the lighter one and go under the eyes, and then take the contour and apply it with our fingers. The reason people are doing this is because it's cleaner for the compact, However, for the product itself, you need to have clean hands, obviously, so you're not getting who knows what in your product. And also, they can be more precise with where they put their product. And lastly, they warm up the products by rubbing their fingers into it and putting it on their face. These creams, one of the cons, are very concentrated, compact, kind of sticky. They do have beeswax in them, which can be a pro or a con. And artists will say, you just need to warm it up with your fingers and then put it on your skin and it'll be so much better to blend. Everywhere that I want to contour slash add a little bit of sun, a little bit of color, life to the skin, I'm gonna apply the product right there. A Little bit out here. I wanna show you how well it conceals the blue under eyes. Oh, and then blush. I do know the blush is called Black Cherry. It's a very glossy formula. It's glowy, it's kind of sheer. I think it's a gorgeous color. And yes, you do put it on your lips as well. This product, and then hopping over to do a photo shoot, family photos, going to the office where you're gonna have air conditioning, <laughs> which I'll get into, I think is really pretty. 
if you use too much, you will know because it's going to look very heavy and cakey and bunch up on the skin right from the get-go. If you find this is really ugly on my skin and I applied it 10 minutes ago, it's probably because you used too much. I still have some of my acne scarring and sunspots peeking through right here. I have a breakout right here. So I already put a decent amount of product on right there. Art, can you even take me seriously right now? I just saw myself in the viewfinder. I look like a clown. This is what they call like the cheetah method or cheetah spots or something like that. What was I even talking about? Oh my gosh. I wish I would have been educated on their Demi line because I am a huge fan of color correcting. And essentially that's what the entire Demi line is, is just a color correcting line where you pick different shades for different areas on your face. So for me, I'm a huge fan of using pinks and salmons and sometimes orange tones underneath my eyes to color correct the blue tones. I wish I, I would have been able to buy that, but I just didn't know about it at the time. I don't feel like it's being pushed as much. I think it's just because it's more of an advanced technique versus just slapping on a ton of product to get your coverage. My under eye, I'm just gonna tap. This is the lighter shade. Oh, see, I just, I don't love it underneath the eye. You have to use a lot of product to conceal. And under that eye area, it just looks heavy. It's okay though, we're rolling with it. One of these highlight pans, from what I hear, usually lasts people on average about three-ish months. To me, that's kind of a con because, I mean, my foundation shades usually last me longer than three months. Okay, you see how we're going in with just the little pixie peachy concealer right here. I mean, come on. I like that method better. I don't know if it's even picking up on camera. I don't have anything on this eye. I just went in with my usual, the little pinky pixie concealer right, I have a mirror right here I'm looking at, right on the inner corners where my blue is. I just think that looks so much prettier, more natural. Up close, I mean, this is like, yeah, she's wearing concealer under her eyes. It looks like makeup. This side's like, oh, like that looks nice, you know? But it doesn't scream makeup under here. If I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I will just tap in the teeniest amount with that brightening shade. I'm kind of scared that might even been too much. And I just go right in here, right on the very inner corner. And then a little bit out here where I didn't put any product whatsoever. But I'm talking, I mean, the teeniest amount. Do you see the difference? I don't know, in person, looks so much better. Okay, let's do, oh, dropping things. The nose. Oh, so speaking of the contour shades, one of my most favorite things about this line is that they do contour shades really well, especially for, <laughs> fair skin fellow people out there. I feel like it's so difficult to find bronzers and contours that don't pull orange, right? This one that I got, I believe was Astoria, is technically a contour product. I feel like it kind of is a mixture of both on me though, especially where I diffuse it out a little bit. Hopefully on camera, it's not pulling super orange. This product is an MLM, technically. Any Saint artists, if you are watching this, please correct me. From the impression that I got from having to do quite a bit of digging, from what I gather, my impressions, you're really not making your time and money back unless you're pushing to recruit a whole team and having that team under you. But if you just wanna do affiliate and not have a team, just have people buy through your link, you're really, it, supposedly it's not worth your time. Like it's really difficult to do that. It's really difficult to make any money from it. So whether or not that's totally accurate or not, I don't know. No, I still have a little bit of redness peeking through on my chin. I used that same shade I used all over the face. I do love that it has that yellow undertone. See, I take a little bit of that brightening shade and put it on my brow bone right here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Oh yeah. Huh. No, I like that. I actually haven't done that before. So one of the benefits of Saint Makeup is that 
it is tested with European standards in mind. This makeup is cleaner than a lot of products you find on the shelves. I'm going in with the Cody Airspun powder. I find just a little bit goes a long way. Otherwise, at the end of the day, it can look a little bit heavy. Okay. So, okay, so the biggest thing that I have a hard time with with this makeup is the fact that it looks really beautiful right now, right? At the end of the day, not even at the end of the day, give me two hours and my face is going to look like a greasy chicken drumstick. And you know what? I don't want to look like a greasy chicken leg. I just, I don't want to. You get so shiny. I have dry skin. I live in a dry climate. And if you are under the sun in the middle of summer, no, forget it. Like I, it just slipped right off my face. I had absolutely nothing on my skin. I felt like at the end of the day, I will say one little disclaimer. I'm excited to see how this makeup will look in winter when my skin naturally is dry. The longevity, I'm just really confused by. I've heard people say over and over again that this is superior. This is the best makeup you can get in the summer for weddings under film because cream makeup doesn't budge. That's why I was so hopeful. No, it, it slides right off my face. I'm not somebody that wants to completely change my skincare routine or start incorporating oil reducing primers and setting sprays and you know powdering and touching up my face. It's just, I don't wanna do that for one product. When there are a lot of products out there that require less maintenance and less change in my routine. I really, really, really hope that this video does not come across as throwing shade to anybody who sells this product. I'm just saying for me personally, I haven't mastered those issues yet. Just throw a little bit of brows and a coat of mascara on. So overall, my thoughts about Saint Makeup right here, love the concept, love the technique, love the shade range with the contours especially, the blush, super pretty i'm really curious to see how this holds up on my skin all day over winter if i'm going to be in my hot car if i'm going to be you know hauling equipment around on location for brides under the sun no it's it's coming through it's breaking off even inside i find i do get very shiny and for sure i think they're worth checking out the contours for the shade ranges that you get and the undertones I really do like them. With that being said, please remember that makeup and beauty products and the things I talk about in these videos are just optional. They should just be for fun. Do not feel obligated that you have to do it. You're perfect just the way you are. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.